Who cares about thermal paste anymore? This thing gets everywhere, is super hard to apply, and can probably get you arrested because of the way it looks. Basically, thermal paste is for boomers. All the cool kids now use this, the IC Graphite Thermal Pad. Yeah. This is going to take some explaining. So yeah, this thing is literally just a thermal paste replacement. And its benefits are pretty obvious. It doesn't leave a mess, it's easy to just put on, and it's reusable. But there has to be some drawbacks to it, right? Well, that's what we'll be investigating today, as I'll be testing to see exactly what kind of performance we get with this thing compared to a standard thermal paste, and to see if there's anything else we should probably be aware of before you go out and buy this thing because it's the best thing since sliced bread. So, to test this thoroughly, we need something that can generate a, quite a bit of heat, but also has sufficient cooling. So, I'm going for my FX8350 CPU, which is known from back in the day for generating a decent amount of heat, and this Be Quiet Shadow Rock Free White Cooler from Be Quiet, which I did a video on recently, which I highly recommend you check out. Okay, and now it should be a pretty simple test. Run Cinebench R20 and see if our temperatures are any higher. So, just for context, I've ran it with just normal thermal paste and we had around 51 degrees. So, let's see what it's going to be like with just a single thermal pad. I um, also forgot how long Cinebench can take on such an old CPU. Wow well then, this is going to take longer than Brexit, isn't it? Finally, after a super long test, it's done. It actually held up rather well and I am actually rather surprised. So that leads to the obvious question. If it's basically just thermal paste, but without a mess, and it's reusable, then well, why shouldn't we all just use this stuff? Well, naturally, it's mainly kind of intended for people who just swap out coolers and CPUs a lot. Benchmarkers, people like me, people who do this as a job. I paid around 10 pounds for it, and I have no idea how much it is in freedom dollars, so I'm gonna just throw it up on the screen right now. So it's definitely way more expensive than just a tiny tub of thermal paste. In fact, with many CPU coolers, you even get a tiny amount of thermal paste bundled in. And another big disadvantage is that, unlike thermal paste, this solution is actually electrically conductive, which means that if it's making contact with something it's not supposed to, it could really mess up your PC. And it's rare to see a product like this that has all the benefits without very little drawbacks. It's about as rare as good food here in the UK. I expected it to be way worse seeing how thermal paste is kind of the industry standard and a graphite pad isn't. But whatever. If you want to buy it yourself, I'm going to put the link to it down in the video description below. And hey, if you want to help my channel in other ways so I can make videos like these in the future, then check out my Patreon because even $1 a month goes a long way in helping my channel and allows us to make way better videos and also videos on way more interesting topics. I'd also love to find my Patreons, Gavin Burns, Ryan, LKB, Naomi Sushi, Tiffany Jacobs, and Wolfie. Thank you all so, so much. Like, your help really does go a long way. So yeah, definitely check it out. And also down there is our Discord between me or others about this or whatever else, really. And that's about it, so I hope you enjoyed this quick little video. If you did, remember to subscribe, like, whatever. And I'll see you all in what I look next. Hopefully with something that I can uh, have more fun with tearing apart and criticizing. Anyway, goodbye everyone, good bye.